What is up, Vibe Nation? Welcome back. I'm freaking out. Look at the time. We overslept. Just kidding. We've actually been waiting for the tide to start to fill in a little bit. This morning, the tide was at a like negative 0.5 feet, really drained out. The beaches in North County where any reefs are at, there's a lot of sand that's washed off. So the negative low tides have been really exposed um, due to the lack of water, but the winds are still light. So we got our coffee, we got our bag, and we're heading to the beach. We're about to go try and find a couple little corners. Hopefully the winds stay nice and light. And we're on a waxless wonder mission. If y'all don't remember the 5.6 hybrid Ho Stevie soft top with the waxless alligator grip. And we got our fiberglass honeycomb fins. We're about, to, I took this out last night. I actually had a really fun surf. We're gonna cruise down to the beach. Actually, I just realized Probably need to get my battery in the bike, but we're about to pick this up over at the beach in just a sec. It is absolutely beautiful. It's turning into a beautiful day. Yesterday was super foggy down here, but with the sun coming up, coming out, I should say, the winds are starting to come up a little bit. So we gotta get down to the beach quick. The conditions by no means are gonna be perfect when we get down here, but I feel like I, sometimes waste opportunities to get into a surf and end up going to the gym just because I'm like, ah, the winds aren't perfect. Like I said, the sun's out, the winds are picking up just a little bit. But this is the perfect example of how I tell y'all all the time, it only takes 30 minutes to get into an adventure and it always changes like the complete outlook on the rest of your day. It's probably gonna make your day better than it could have ever been. And who's gonna complain about that, right? We have some uh, new swell that's been filling in slightly overnight. It's been kind of small the last couple days. Tomorrow should be a little bit bigger, but the winds are gonna be slightly an issue. So we're gonna try and get up early before the winds get too, too south and uh, have Miley come down and film for us. But we are on the way down with the GoPro. We're gonna get some POV visions down there. goodness for this host TV changing poncho I literally almost flashed a hundred people this dude just pulled up put his bike here for a second a family walked by 20 girls walked by and I'm like trying to like shimmy into this wetsuit not the vibe <sighs> even though we are now in late April here in North County San Diego water temps have dipped back down into the lower 50s so we are rocking the four three Oh, Stevie chest zip to keep us nice and toasty warm. I am not wearing booties, gloves, or a hood though, but I have some, seen some people out in them just trying to stay warm, but we're getting out there. I literally still trip out over how this board is waxless, but it's awesome and you guys know the deal. We'll see you in the water.
about 40 minutes in, still no shark sightings anywhere. A lot of birds, a couple fun waves. Absolute blast, not the perfect conditions by any means, but finally a little bit of swell filling in. Five stick hybrid, the host EV soft top, tons of float, a little more maneuverability. I, sometimes the inside was a little bit steeper uh, and a little more fun than the outer sections, which were kind of like closing out a little bit and a little more crumbly. Um, so when you're messing with the GoPro, you're kind of like not fully in the game. So just got to navigate our way back to the stairs. Like I said, out in the water, I did not see any signs of any sharks, but you know what? Whatever happened, and I'm not quite sure if anybody knows about the shark incident between Grandview and Ponto this week here in Lucadia, comment below and let us know, but it doesn't seem like anything serious. The last two days, I've seen a lot of bird activity, some weird circling of what seems like something that could be out in the water floating. So there could have been like a, you know, like an injured or diseased whale, something like that that was out there that maybe a shark was feeding off of and maybe someone saw it. And so by that, they claimed a shark incident, but it's not stopping us from getting out there some really fun ones despite this onshore wind. We're supposed to have some south wind issues in the morning, so fingers crossed things are still manageable. I think there's gonna be a little bit of east in it just to kind of keep the faces a little bit clean, so hopefully it's a vibe. Oh my gosh, y'all, and as soon as we get home, we have a little bit of a rain shower. The temps have dropped. It's gotten a little chillier. As you can see from the palm trees, those south winds have already picked up. Up. So that is a wrap on the surf and how ominous and kind of weird was that surf? It was kind of crazy because the water quality, as you could see from the GoPro, was not clear by any means, which just kind of made the vibe a little bit more ominous. And of course, with the weather, it kept going back and forth from sunny to cloudy, which was kind of weird as well. But like I said, no shark sightings, but honestly, I'm kind of vibing to have that first little visual shark GoPro footage. So fingers crossed we get some fun footage this summer. There is a lot of um, shark nursery activity off the San Diego coastline. So who knows? Who knows? I also, though, want to make a huge, huge shout out. Thank you so much, Cash the Surfer, for filming with your drone in Carlsbad. That was completely unexpected. Make sure you head over to Cash's Instagram and give him a follow and support him on his journey as well. But there's one more thing we need to talk about. The complete vibe of the 5.6 Host EV Hybrid Soft Top. Like I said earlier, links in the description for all the products I used today from the Host EV Traction Pad, the 5.6 Hybrid Soft Top, as well as these Host TV FCS fins, which are a complete vibe, the honeycomb thruster setup, the Host TV changing mat, of course, the Host TV leash keeping the board attached to me and keeping me warm in the water, my Host TV wetsuit. So huge shout out to Host TV for all the amazing gear keeping us in the water. I absolutely love these products. They're well-made, reasonably priced. And if you want to help support this channel, the Amazon affiliate links in the description below help a small commission come to this channel to help keep, help keep the vibes going. And that's where I need to thank all of you. Thank you so much if you're new to the channel or if you've been watching these videos and you haven't yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give us a like and drop a comment down below. Make sure you comment if you want to see Cash the Surfer meet up with us and use the drone. I really love that vibey footage. So th thank you again. Thank you to all of you. Remember, new videos come out every Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. on the East Coast, 6 a.m. Hawaiian, 
but I'm setting you all free, you know the deal. Click right here to subscribe and right here to watch more videos. And I'll catch y'all on the next vibe. Let it go, all the boots are like woe Thing I go, cause you don't want I see, I see, and you're the man to now go Yeah, got your cold blood Yeah, no one is it that I swear I swear, check out Mondo Zero Pokes are all can't get you